been up on cancel and I know how it is to set up there. So <coughs> any points I might bring up are going to be non-adversarial. Okay, this is just a couple little observations. Uh, I was not at the last cancel meeting or at the last work session. Uh, I believe there are a few items that are inadvertent oversights. <coughs> I know council has been preoccupied since January or February with a lot of things going on. But I would ask that you would please review all town boards, commissions, and associations. Only one ex officio member of council should be on these. At least that's the way it was when I served. If this has changed, I'm unaware of it. Uh, concerning the work session of September the 18th. It was a very confusing day for me. I was trying to find where it was. Come to town hall before lunch, as I often do, just to see what's going on and to see who might have been selected as the new secretary and to see if I even wanted to, want, wanted to attend. Miss Onru was here with Miss Biggs. I welcomed her as I welcome her here tonight. Um, I was informed of the in, intergovernmental meeting, the picnic was going to be at the River Park, but the work session was going to be here at Town Hall at 7 o'clock. I thought this would be an awful quick intergovernmental meeting, so I asked her to call me if she found out any different. She said, okay, no big deal. I went out to dinner that afternoon, I checked the door at the Town Hall to see if there was any posted change. There was nothing there. I returned to town about 7 o'clock to attend the work session, and I found a handwritten note on the door then stating that the work session was at the River Park at 7 o'clock. I felt like I was in a bad episode of Where's Waldo. This, in my opinion, was a last-minute change. No intent of wrongdoing is being accused. I just guess everybody was having a good time at the picnic. Uh, if this would have happened with the previous administration, heads would have been wanted on silver platter, investigations would have been called for at the highest level of the Attorney General's office. Please in the future remember State Code 2.23707, Section C, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with. And also, please use the website to communicate with citizens better. Place the agenda and the minutes of the meetings as Clifton Forge, Covington, and Allegheny County do. If you have better communication, you will have happier citizens. 